<laughs> Eight thirty-six p.m. Brian comes to the diary room. Do you have any regrets at all about entering the Big Brother house? Um, I've no regrets about coming in here. I'm ever regrets about certain things that I've said or done. I suppose they're my th they're my regrets. Things that maybe I wouldn't have done. But in in respects, I've said things to a certain person in here. I suppose that didn't come out the right way, and that made me look like a bit of a twit, I suppose. I don't feel that there is a problem with myself and Josh in the house. You know, at the start, you know, it was weird having someone in here because, like I said, I felt that I'd, I, I was being judged by another gay person because, you know, and I felt that if, if my parents, you know, seen him and then seen me, you know, that he would portray himself as a gay man much better than I could have. I think everyone else in the house has got my humour, but in, in a sense, I don't think he has. I think he's just grinning me and smiling at me, to be honest, until this whole thing is over. That's my, that's my feeling. Ten forty-two p.m. The housemates have been playing volleyball for an hour and twenty-one minutes. Go. Yeah, that's right. Leave that. Ten forty-six. Alright. Friends are full. Come on, guys. Go on, H. Dude. Well, I heard go on H. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to but then I get see you into it. Yeah, I was going to always start on Dreamland. I didn't. I just see there. Did you answer the door? Yeah. Yeah, one more. Really, really sore. Really then feel that. Like. for me, they're oh, sore. I've had enough. Not yeah. yeah. You've had what, mate? He's had it. He's stopping. He's stopped playing. Oh, he stopped playing? Yeah. Do you reckon it's my fault? I don't think so. I think he just wants to stop playing. No, I, think I don't know, H. I haven't got a clue. No, he does just want to stop yeah, playing. Yeah, I think he's, uh, he's tired. H, his thumb is hurting. Yeah. Oh, is it? Like that. Do you want to stay and play? Let's get some time out of some... Sorry. You're I just okay. want to play in. Come on, H, you did well. I know, but... You did do no, really but well. I always think that nobody ever wants him on my... I know people want him and say, but, like, I'm bad luck. You know, I'm bad luck. And whatever yeah. anyone says, I'll be thinking that. I and picked I know Bash. I'm what we'll do tomorrow, <laughs> what's tomorrow, you and me, we'll just practice. You know how you did those early ones? And you get much better. Perhaps I'm just a bit ultra-sensitive. You know, it's, it's just this, like this, this place. place. No, no, no. You're doing really well. You did really I well I'm doing good, but I don't, I don't think I'm good enough for some people. I don't want to be in this bloody house no more. Oh, come oh. On. I'm pissed off with it now. Come on, let's play. No, I'm, I'm, I'm I, I don't know what to do. I, do, I, do, I, do. I know I have no How do you want to swap? Give me a shower. Can you stop me because of me? Me? No, I'm just having no. no. Don't be daft. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> don't be daft, H. Tell you game. Don't be mad. I just kept eating it off my thumb and then my thumb's really sore. Right. I just wanted to stop. No, he's been up his thumb, that's all. Yeah, I thought you'd stop playing because of me and then I got upset. Don't be stupid. I'm pretty rubbish too. I'm sure they get very annoyed. Darling, don't be daft. Also. Honestly, I've mashed my, I mashed my thumb up in that game and I hit a couple of them low ones. I thought at the end of this game I'm going to stop playing because I hurt my thumb. 2.03 a.m. Helen has gone to bed. Josh and Brian have asked the group to leave them alone so they can discuss their disagreements. What do you do? You blow hot and cold with me. I don't think I blow hot and cold. cold, cold completely. You. You'd be there and you, you wouldn't even say a word. I was like, trying to talk to you that day and you were going straight Yeah, past I apologise to you because I knew I was out right of order. Though. You're even on the court, you just turn around and say, oh, sorry, I'm being a bit ratty. You don't realise you're doing it. In here, everything is magnified by 100. No, no but what I'm saying is Do you, you don't, don't realise you're doing it, I don't think. I think, really think you're not aware of it. I haven't got a problem with it. But, but I mean, you obviously you do, in a sense, have no, a problem with it. I haven't got a problem with it, but it, the, the remarks I give back to you, you rise to them more than I rise to yours. And that's why I'm like, hang on, you can throw them at me, but you can't take them yourself. That's scary. I have never been serious to you. I've never once insulted you. Meaning it, and that's in the, my um, my niece and nephew's life because I'm not like that. Yeah, but the problem is, I do is, not. The problem is, you. I came in as a stranger, knowing no one. You completely attacked me, and since then, Josh, you're forgetting yeah. one thing. I could have attacked anyone that day. You checked the new person, and you attacked them because I was gay. Oh, so you asked the others? They all think it's because of that. No, because I've talked with all of them. They said if, you, if you'd walked in there straight or an old girl, it wouldn't have happened. No, of course it happened. It did happen. Of course it happened because of that. But no in that respect, reason. you could be a straight guy. Yes. Who took my bed? I would feel the exact same. You happened to be gay. 
Josh is so patient, isn't he? He's a very patient bloke. It sounds like, um, it sounds, if you, if you listened to them, didn't you, you didn't know what was going on. It was like Josh was in the wrong. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny because he's, 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 he's so patient. You can hear Brian saying, yeah, but I listen, you know, my mum was worried about my parents and da da da. That conversation would be so short if it was me. Yeah. Because I'd say, I don't give a fuck about yeah. what you think. I'm telling you that I don't want that to happen and it better not happen again. But it was a joke. I didn't mean it. It wasn't spice. But sometimes you don't know where to draw the line. That's the problem. Not you. But sometimes I don't know where probably the line's drawn either. Do you know what I mean? So it's a misjudgment thing on that, that one then. I think relatively, when it comes to me and you, it, it's, a, it's a constant misjudgment. Both ways. I think it's 50-50. I think it's both ways. I don't think worse. you're ever, ever going to get my character. I think you really are. I don't think I'm ever going, ever going to understand you. Who goes? You decide. To Vict Ammer, call 09011544401. To Vict Paul, call 09011544408.